Mojo Monkey looks exactly like Ditto. Oh. <laughs> I haven't. I've. I've only like met Mojo Monkey once, and that was at uh, Don't Park on the Grass. But he looks a lot like Ditto. Huh? Um, interesting to see Mojo Monkey go for Kirby. Yeah. He is he a Pika? No, he kind of made his way through Don't Park on the Grass as Falcon. Ah. I think Fire. I think it was Fire Blaster that put it best. He up smashed his way. Up it. So the Mo Mojo Monkey up smashes. But he's uh. He's starting off fairly strong against Black Moon. He read the fall through. Tough, tough to read that recovery. Ooh! Turn around up tilt will negate Kirby's forward smash. Pretty much anything Pika does on the ground will beat out Kirby's forward smash. Oh, nice ledge. <laughs> Didn't really get anything out of it, but. Slippery. Ah, Blonkid here. Does, yeah. That girl will kill. Doesn't seem to know how to edge guard Kirby. I think Kirby dies from anywhere, like in the 90s. On stage. Yeah. Still haven't I still haven't tested this, but like, I, I believe it was Robert. Dude, theorized. But I don't think he tested either. That Pika's, anywhere Pika's fourth throw will kill, back throw will kill. Somebody needs to test that out. Starkick, get on it. I'm too busy compiling uh, up the angles that people need. Single hit down air. I like smash. that. I like that. Mojo Monkey. Oh, the poor man's pivot up tilt. <laughs> oh, what? Close it, though. He's having trouble reading these texts. I think he just needs to think about where he's going to go and then cover the other option. That's something that... Great coverage there, though. Yeah. Um, you have to realize... When you tech to the side like that, with yeah. Kirby, they're almost they're never going to do a ground attack. So it's you like, can it's get like when somebody RCI. shields at the ledge against Kirby, and then they're like, "Oh yeah. man, I can't believe I got down aired off the stage, yeah. even though I was shielding on the stage." You have to realize that. So when you tech to the corner, be prepared to you know. Yeah, and again. Yeah. Yeah, Blonkid has a pretty pretty good combo game, which should give him the edge in this matchup. We were talking before, like. Uh, that's what really can make this matchup hard for Kirby, is just when Pika has a punish game too. It's like, Kirby's punish game is fairly simple on Pika, it's very strong. But, once Pika gets his combo game down, it's a lot easier to get a kill off. Right. Up tilt in there. Now, see if he has really high. Going high. Yeah. Um, if Blanky just goes to the ledge here... Graham? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Blonk, he went way too far out on that one. Blonk hit down a clean stock. So, oh, well, how he's did behind he get that him. grab? This is standard here, but he doesn't no, turn, no turn around. around. Um, you know, people talk about the standard combo, the fourth throw to up smash on Kirby. That's not going to work if the Kirby has decent DI. Yeah. This is why we don't spend too much time in training. Great recovery by Mojo Monkey. Very, very good there. Threatened with the aerial perfectly. Oh, I Ooh, think down tilt. <laughs> yeah, when Kirby throws out that Nair, you should have an opportunity for a grab. And that'll kill. Yeah, I think Wispy might have blown him blown him off there. I don't know. You can't get blown off on the right side. They'll push him over to the ledge, right? Wispy pushed him over to the ledge, and then the F smash pushed him off, and so he got hit. Like, if Wispy hadn't have blown, I'm not 100% about this, but it looked like he would have been too far away from the ledge to get um, pushed off by the F-Smash. What do you mean pushed off? Like, he was in, he was in shield. Yeah. That didn't it's, oh, it's yeah. yeah. He, he, he was at, like, he had just gotten uh, three like, up tilts on shield. It looked like he had a full shield at his feet. No, he, he, okay. he it was at the end of up tilts. Alright, scratch that. <laughs> I mean, we should still get rid of this. Um... Ops from the back air instead of the reset. It doesn't, See, it I doesn't mean, have his punish game optimized. On yeah, if you're or... if you're not gonna. Oh, they put oh. into the wrong ports. Okay, so <laughs> I like. So <laughs> apparently, blonde kid won that because uh, yeah. Mojo is Pika. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> hey, Purely because so when blonde stupid. kid Mojo monkey, when you read this later, try plugging into the right ports next time. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, so. I guess ah. perhaps Mojo knew that um, Blonde Kid was going to go first and decided off for the Pika. Maybe Mojo's transitioning to a full Pika main. I don't know. 
Blonde Kid electing. Yeah, so Blonde Kid, again, doesn't have, like, his combo game up to scratch. And if you don't have your combo game up to scratch, you might want to just try to get a lot of damage in, so go for drills instead of, like, aerials at 50. Yeah. I... I'm really surprised to see Blonde Kid stick with the Kirby, even after dropping the first game. Oh, he won the first game. No, Mojo Monkey won the first game. Oh, right, right. Because, like, he could pull out Pika. Uh, or Falcon. You know, like, he is... Uh, uh, well, apparently a pretty solid triad. <laughs> but... Approaching forward, or up tilt with forward air is very risky. on the platforms. Nice. I like that approach. Baited him in and then did a turnaround run off forward air. So risky bro. With, up, with up tilt existing. Yeah. But I mean he already had Pika Great. coming in and it would have been uh, very hard for Mojo to predict turnaround. I find a lot of players when Kirby is at that angle like above the stage, off stage but like higher than that uh, other platform, the second platform. They'll try. They'll try to go out with an aerial and wind up getting up B spiked. Yeah. And uh, Mojo, good discipline there to just throw out the forward smash, not get, not get reversed on. Nice approach from Mojo with the uh, the late up air to hit the ground. One kid constantly retreating. Missed the Z cancel and didn't get an up tilt out of that. He, he needed some kind of punish off. Anytime he wins neutral, he needs to start racking up the percentage. Because um, Mojo Blanket. is just walling him out. Blanket is really abusing forward facing up air. No, Mojo's Pika. I'm sorry, yeah. Mojo is really uh, abusing forward facing up air. Which is, you know, interesting. We don't really see too many people do that. This one's slipping away from Blanket really quick. It's been close, but. He really gave Mojo an opportunity to kind of pull away. Good. Nice. Um, Mojo has a lot of recovery options, so he's not going to get an edge guard here. But that was not a good one. No. Mm. This should be it. Uh, Never mind. Blind <laughs> kid, very slippery. Somehow still in it. Tries to call out, jump. Now, even if Blonde Kid takes this stock, he hasn't been punishing hard enough to make that comeback. So, yeah. like, he's something really Still needs to change. Still getting trades that are just unfavorable. Getting like a single uh. weak back air, no up tilts. That uh, right there, like that was a stock. That's a grab. Overcommitted and missed with a forward. Move. But yeah, see, like Mojo knows Blonde Kid is going for that grab. That's it. So he keeps getting the up air. That's not it. <laughs> Okay, I'm not saying that's it again for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, everyone has to drink. <laughs> yeah, the chances of making it back from this one are very low. Yeah. Especially if you kill yourself. <laughs> if you don't and do anything. And Blonde sitting there like the set's not over? No, I told you. Blonde Kid, Blonde Kid forward smashed at the edge, remember? <laughs> Gotta sit across from your ports, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Alright, game three. They're gonna look back on this. Nobody's gonna know what's going on. No. This isn't going on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> this set will get lost forever. So. Blame uh, Jason hasn't switched it over yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, here, here's, and here's the, the Pika Ditto. So, Blonde Kid is still blue. Uh, yeah, blonde kid, little blue. Or he went or, red. No, um, no, but... Yeah, blonde kid is red. Mojo monkey is blue. They made it as hard as possible for us. And yes. then our, our streamer hopping in, being confused as well, made it even more confusing. Uh, but to the match at hand, uh, this is this should be more of blonde kid's area of expertise. He's starting off strong, but Mojo, Mojo's shown through the set that, you know, he can hang with Blonde Kid. Uh, 
just a lot of backers. Good spacing tool, but traps in the corner. Hard if, to get out. If Blonde Kid would turn himself around and start throwing out some up airs, with Mojo Monkey being so back air heavy, he can just time it. Up air comes out quicker. Right. And it basically just beats back air. Back air spaces further, but um, up air is easier to time. Well, grab. <laughs> he had an opportunity to run in and grab. Instead, he lost a jump right in front of Mojo for a grab of his own. So that, I mean, that you, you took, you did no addition to that, you know, kind of let down. Oh, I like that. The uh, runoff forward facing up air. He didn't get a real hard punish off it. But, you know, if you catch Pika's jump like that, it'll be uh, really strong. <laughs> Good ledge cancel, at least. Uh, see, this is a, a situation where I feel like Blon Kid could reward himself on learning pivot up tilts as well. Yeah. Like, they're really good as, as Kirby, but there are so many opportunities here where uh, you could catch Mojo with these pivot up tilts. Absolutely. It's a good uh, tool to have. Same with Mojo. You know, Blon Kid keeps throwing out these forward airs. Pivot up tilt that. Nice. 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 Good chain. Still in the jump. Up air. Uh... I think he could have gotten a backer out of that instead. But... Oh, uh, that was just a bad. Yeah, bad, bad, bad but again, zip. even again, at zero each. Oh, so close to that up tilt, catching him. Up smash. Yep. Nice, nice. Bro, uh, maybe an up tilt could have continued something. Oh, oh. alright, I was about to call him out on that, that poor decision there, but he got the pullback ledge cancel. That, was beautiful. Very, that oh, is God. so hard with Pika. This Pika's special fall is so slow. <laughs> well, it turned like horizontally. Yeah. I kind of like how, how much you can pull it back. People don't realize. You know, if you do the, like the single zip straight across, and then it looks like you're going to land on the stage, then you pull it back so you got the, uh, the ledge. Right. Mojo makes the top flat. Reset the neutral. Oh, just jumps right into a back air. Good, good approach for a blonde kid. Uh, really jumps though. Pushing his his pressure on so yep. Mojo. We'll take him to the edge. Interesting recovery. I don't like down then. I think he unless... wanted the sweet spot, like or not the sweet spot, but like to really catch the ledge without hopping over. Right. I, I still think the force match would have gone. Late in the set, Blind Kid's done a really good job of just like controlling space, just like pushing Mojo towards the ledge with back airs and catching him with them. Yeah, a lot of this game has been played with, uh, with him in the corner just kind of fighting to get out. Oh, he missed the back air. And this is starting to just slowly run away apart. from Mojo. Yeah. But like. Again, in this in in the ditto, you just get that close out that stock. It makes a huge difference, right? Any any extra hits he gets now don't don't really matter. Right. He just needs to get that. Ooh, Ooh another ledge cancel. Uh, that's and that's it. Blonde kid switches to Pika. That's what he has to.